Hey, it's Braden today, and I'm going to be bringing to you guys a lot of new information on Titanfall, Call of Duty Ghosts, Xbox One, some new games for Xbox One, and of course, the news that's happened around Evolution Gaming. So thanks for tuning in with me. So I'm going to dive right into it on the Xbox One front. There's lots of new information about it. Um, they have confirmed that they are working on a new update to fix, hopefully, some of the many problems with the OS system. Uh, this one is geared towards the friend and social aspects of the Xbox One interface. Basically, they're going to kind of put the friends aspect all into one accessible area instead of having it all over the place. Um, now, if this means they're going to fix the party problem, because the parties on Xbox One are just, uh, they're very difficult to figure out, and you can't, they don't always work, the voice chat in them doesn't really work, and it's tinkering and it drops and it's just a headache. So hopefully this is going to fix it. They have not announced when it's going to be released, but they are saying that it will be soon. So that could be a month, that could be two weeks, that could be three months. But I'll keep you posted. Uh, next really cool thing, if anyone out there is actually interested, in E3 there was a game show uh, called Project Spark. So what this is, is it's a Kind of like Minecraft meets console meets RPG sort of thing. So you can completely design your entire world, your entire level, put enemies in, then you can actually play your own world. Right now it's in beta on for Windows 8 and 8.1 users. It's been out there for a while. I have a beta. Um, it is actually pretty cool, I will admit. Uh, they have announced that the Project Spark will enter beta on the Xbox One in February, as long as there's no other further delays. So uh, this is kind of cool. Check out their Facebook page. I'll put a link down there to show you uh, how to get uh, your own beta key so you can kind of play with it and check it out. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is Titanfall. Their Titanfall has been in the news a lot lately for good and bad reasons. Probably the big reason that you've heard about is their player limitation. It has been confirmed that the player match is going to be 6v6. So that's 12 online people in a match. Um, now, a lot of people went like 6v6, this is next gen, you know, we're used to, you know, even Battlefield 4 games with 66 people, 32 plus a commander on each team, uh, yet this new game can only do 6v6. Then they kind of step back, they're like, whoa, 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 hold up. You gotta listen to us. It's 6v6 for players, however, each player, so you can play yourself and you can have your, your Titan be in AI mode. Each map supports up to 48 entities, I guess you can kind of say. So that's people, that's AI, uh, your Titan AI, then there's gonna be random AIs throughout the map as well. So we're still having a lot of people, 48 is a lot, uh, but only actually six people on each team in a kind of a matchmaking format. Um, so really, that's kind of the big thing with Titanfall recently. They have announced that for the, the sniping aspect, there is no quick, quick sniping, quick scoping. Thank goodness, that has just that's bugged me ever since they was introduced in Call of Duty. So I'm glad they decided to do that. Uh, the next cool thing is, I actually just stumbled across this today, is GameStop actually leaked a poster of the new content for Ghosts. Uh, we got four maps, with, they're called Fog, Bayview, Containment, and Ignition. Uh, the pictures showcase are, uh, it doesn't really show much about them, honestly, I'm looking at it. But uh, more information will be released as we get closer, and I'm sure there'll be, there'll be all right maps. There's a bonus Maverick AR and Sniper Rifle, and there's an Episode 1 called Nightfall of the Extension Mode. This DLC is called Onslaught. And the poster says that it's the tentative release date on Xbox Live is January 28th, 2014. So that's like uh, a little over two weeks away. So that's pretty sweet. Season Pass holders will obviously get that one included in the Season Pass. Uh, standalone, who knows how much it'll probably be between like 10 and 15 bucks. That's usually what they are. But four maps and a gun and kind of like a Spartan Op sort of thing for their extension mode. Not too, too shabby. Um... Other gaming news, CSIS, it's, it's all been around. They have shown off the first actual legitimate adapter for the Xbox 360 old headsets to the Xbox One. This was in the form of a Turtle Beach headset. It's their actually Titanfall headset. And uh, it uses this interface box that simply just has your 2.5 millimeter. So that's the old little uh, headphone jack. 
that the old Xbox 360 controls were using. And it's just this little powered box that then changes it to the new connector type for the Xbox One. Um, nothing really too fancy about it. Uh, it's kind of big looking at it, so one thing to keep in mind. Uh, now, for anyone out there who is interested, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance PC, uh, it looks gorgeous if you guys care. Take a look at it. Uh, other than that, for Xbox One related news, um, that's all I have for you right now. Uh, there's obviously lots more on Halo, Halo 5 coming out. Uh, there's some small snippets of information here and there. Uh, it looks good. And they're wanting to shoot for this year release date. We'll see if it actually comes. And uh, yeah, that, that's really about it. Now moving on to stuff in EG, Evolution Gaming. We always have stuff going on within this great community of ours. So a couple big things. Uh, obviously, Branch Wars. We are getting ready for Season 5 of Branch Wars. Um, your captain should be a lieutenant. We do need a captain and a co-captain for those. If you don't know what Branch Wars is, check it out. We have tons of videos on here on YouTube. We stream them on Twitch. It's a fun, friendly, competitive weekend event where branches branches teams play against each other in kind of a round robin. And it's a lot of fun. It really is. You get out, you meet a lot of new people. It's a fantastic hour, maybe 45 minutes, depending on how you, the games and the matches. But it's great fun. If you have any questions, talk to some of your lieutenants, talk to your commander. They'll be more than happy to tell you more about it. Um, next thing kind of goes hand in hand with Branch Wars because it's kind of a community-wide event is Warzone. If you don't know what Warzone is, it's a software that enables us to uh, hold matches, tournaments, and it does all the hard work of organizing it for us. The cool thing with Warzone that a lot of you guys might not know is you can go on Warzone, you can join a ladder, say a 1v1, 2v2 ladder of, of the game of your choice, say Halo, Battlefield, Call of Duty, and you can actually challenge people. So if you think you're the best 1v1 person in your branch, in the community, hop on Warzone, send out your uh, challenges to people, and see if you actually really are. There's lots of great people, and you can they have leaderboards of ladders, overall leaderboards. I actually think I'm in the top 10 overall still, uh, which is amazing. I got skills, that's what. Um, next cool thing is EG Collision. What it is is the branch tag for everyone uh, with an Xbox One. Now, a lot of the community kind of split it between 360, Xbox One, Xbox One owners some have, still have their 360. The EG Collision tag just enables for those who have an Xbox One to actually see who else has one, and if they're lucky enough, party up with them and actually play some games with them on the games that they have. Which, hopefully, uh, you know, we have like five big headliner games, Rise, Forza, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and uh, Dead Rising three are the kind of the main ones right now, but we'll be getting some more Titanfalls in March, which looks amazing. Um, other things going on in Evolution Gaming, obviously within uh, Twitch, uh, here on the YouTube channel, we are releasing more content. If you have any feedbacks, feel free to send me a message, e.g. BrainCM on Xbox, on the forums. You can send me a message on YouTube even. Uh, I'm quite easy to get a hold of. Now, uh, that's everything. This is a bit longer one. We had a lot of Xbox related news. Uh, thanks for staying here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the the gameplay If you have any questions feedback, please leave them in the comments Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button the likes really help us out And if you haven't already click on the giant subscribe button and that'll make you pretty cool with us. Thanks